when Galileo looked through his telescope and saw the moons going around it, he was actually seeing that the Earth was not the center of the universe. He was revolutionizing our thinking. When we started exploring the solar system, there was this big concern, oh, if we go out to Jupiter, we have to go through the asteroid belt. And Jupiter, oh my golly, it's got radiation belts, it could be horrible. Knowing that you could actually operate spacecraft from that large a distance and in that kind of radiation environment was a huge unknown. The pioneers were pioneers. They taught us that it's possible to survive in the Jupiter system. It was unbelievable to be involved in Voyager. To wake up in the morning and see a picture of Jupiter up close, the great red spot with the swirling clouds, and then to see the Galilean moons. Here is this planet that had its own planets, if you will. Io with its volcanoes, uh, Europa with its ice, Ganymede and Callisto, and it did indeed look like a miniature solar system. It's half a billion miles away from us, but millions of people can see what that machine is seeing, being explorers remotely. The Galileo spacecraft had the probe which went in as the spacecraft arrived and told us something about the inside of the planet. It was the Galileo orbiter that told us that Europa has an ocean underneath that bizarre ice crust. We looked carefully at the ice and the cracks and the black brown gunk on Europa. Well, what is this? Is this, is this whale poop? Could it be organic material coming from so the place to go to look for life ultimately might be the moons of the outer solar system. We've been studying Jupiter for hundreds of years, but we've barely scratched the surface. What's underneath the clouds? What is this giant planet made out of? Juno's mission is to understand the deep structure of Jupiter underneath the clouds. And to do that, you have to fly into this place where no one's been before. It's a scary place over the poles where these charged particles are coming in, strong electrical currents that are trapped in the magnetic field. For the first time, we can measure the physics of what's happening. We're ducking inside the radiation belts, very, very close to Jupiter, in a place where no one's ever put instruments before. We're skimming the cloud tops. Juno will finally tell us how this planet formed. We're using radio waves to see inside the atmosphere and measure the global water abundance on Jupiter. That one number is going to tell us a lot about how the planet formed, how the rest of the solar system formed, and how the Earth formed. Where we got our water, perhaps. Uh, where we got the organic molecules that we're made of. The central thing that we have learned about Jupiter is that you are surprised when you go there. We've been to Jupiter before, but we've not been here before. It's, a, it's an unknown environment, terra incognita. We'll see.